Shemot. Chapter 8. And Yahuvah said unto Mosheb, Say unto Aharon, Stretch forth your hand with your rod over the rivers, over the canals, and over the pools, and cause frogs to come up upon the land of Egypt. And Aharon stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up, and covered the land of Egypt. And the magicians did in like manner with their secret arts, and brought up frogs upon the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called for Mosheb and Aharon, and said, Entreat Yahuvah, that he take away the frogs from me, and from my people, and I will let the people go, that they may sacrifice unto Yahuvah. And Mosheb said unto Pharaoh, Have you this glory over me, against what time shall I entreat for you, and for your servants, and for your people, that the frogs be destroyed from you and your houses, and remain in the river only? And he said, Against tomorrow. And he said, Be it according to your word, that you may know that there is none like unto Yahuvah our Elohim. And the frogs shall depart from you, and from your houses, and from your servants, and from your people, they shall remain in the river only. And Mosheb and Aharon went out from Pharaoh, and Mosheb cried unto Yahuvah concerning the frogs, which he had brought upon Pharaoh. And Yahuvah did according to the word of Mosheb, and the frogs died out of the houses, out of the courts, and out of the fields. And they gathered them together in heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was respite, he hardened his heart, and hearkened not unto them, as Yahuvah had spoken. And Yahuvah said unto Mosheb, Say unto Aharon, Stretch out your rod, and smite the dust of the earth, that it may become gnats throughout all the land of Egypt. And they did so, and Aharon stretched out his hand with his rod, and smote the dust of the earth. And there were gnats upon man, and upon beast, all the dust of the earth became gnats throughout all the land of Egypt. And the magicians did so, with their secret arts to bring forth gnats, but they could not, and there were gnats upon man, and upon beast. Then the magicians said unto Pharaoh, This is the finger of Elohim. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he hearkened not unto them, as Yahuvah had spoken. And Yahuvah said unto Mosheb, Rise up early in the morning, and stand before Pharaoh, behold, he comes forth to the water. And say unto him, Thus says Yahuvah, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else, if you will not let my people go, behold, I will send swarms of flies upon you, and upon your servants, and upon your people, and into your houses. And the houses of the Egyptians shall be full of swarms of flies, and also the earth whereon they are. And I will set apart in that day the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no swarms of flies shall be there, to the end that you may know that I am Yahuvah in the midst of the earth. And I will put a division between my people and your people, by tomorrow shall this sign be. And Yahuvah did so. And there came grievous swarms of flies into the house of Pharaoh, and into his servants' houses. And in all the land of Egypt, the land was ruined by reason of the swarms of flies. And Pharaoh called for Mosheb and for Aharon, and said, Go you, sacrifice to your Elohim in the land. And Mosheb said, It is not meet so to do, for we shall sacrifice the abomination of the Egyptians to Yahuvah our Elohim. Behold, if we sacrifice the abomination of the Egyptians before their eyes, will they not stone us? We will go three days' journey into the wilderness, and sacrifice to Yahuvah our Elohim, as he shall command us. And Pharaoh said, I will let you go, that you may sacrifice to Yahuvah your Elohim in the wilderness, only you shall not go very far away, entreat for me. And Mosheb said, Behold, I go out from you, 
and I will entreat Yahuwah that the swarms of flies may depart from Pharaoh, from his servants, and from his people, tomorrow. Only let not Pharaoh deal deceitfully any more, in not letting the people go to sacrifice to Yahuwah. And Mosheb went out from Pharaoh, and entreated Yahuwah. And Yahuwah did according to the word of Mosheb. And he removed the swarms of flies from Pharaoh, from his servants, and from his people, there remained not one. And Pharaoh hardened his heart this time also, and he did not let the people go.